Hello everyone, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a website or an online store on Shopify with jewelry as its themes. Let's say that you have been selling jewelry for quite a long time now and you would like to finally create an official website, you can do that with Shopify and this tutorial is going to show you how to design your website and makes it look interesting with a very easy way. So you're going to need two things. The first one is a Shopify account and the second one is a Canva account because we're going to design our website not just with Shopify but we're going to use the help of Canva in order to make everything even more interesting so first things first go create your Shopify account go to shopify.com and then sign up using whatever email you want to use as your official website or official store email and then once you do that you're going to be able to enjoy a three-day trials and if you finally will want to make things officials you can extend the trial and enjoy your first month just for one dollars once you do that we're going to want to go to these online star option on the navigation bar on your left side of your screen and here they're going to show you the theme that you can use for your online store so usually if it's your first time they will give you the dawn theme and you can totally take a look at other theme but i personally really like this one's right here if you would like to take a look at some more theme you can just go to their themes website but i'm going to start with this one so i'm going to go ahead and click on customize so here as you can see you have your website editor and on the left side of your screen they're going to show you all of the pages or the section that you have and you can edit your sections through here and if you would like to change the page of your website you can go to the top side of your screen right here you see that currently i am on my home page and you can go to the product sections if you want by clicking on product and then you can also go to the collection sections cart sections checkout sections etc now i'm going to start with the home page so here i have announcement bar i have headers i also have some templates that are pre-given to me by this themes so first things first i personally don't really like having announcement bar but if you like it maybe you can put your discount up top here to gather your customer's attention but i'm not going to use it so i'm just going to go ahead and delete this announcement bar and then i'm going to go and edit my header so here in my header i have the options to change the logo and you can actually change the logo pictures on this editors right here you can only change the positions of the logo but if you'd like to change your logo all you have to do is go to this theme settings options and then you'll be able to find this logo option so go ahead and click on logo and upload your image logo so i'm going to go ahead and add my logo here so this is the name of my website it's going to be loon and i actually created this logo on canva so here i got my logo and as you can see because my logo is white i'm going to change the theme setting of my logo so i'm going to go back to this sections right here and then i'm going to change the color seam into seam number three or maybe i want to go with seam number four let's see all right i think i prefer seam number four but I also would like to make my logo bigger, so I'm going to go back to my theme settings and then enlarge my logo. Alright, that looks about right. I like how it looks like. And while we're on the theme setting, I also would like to change the typography of my website. So here, I'm currently using the regular font for my assistant, so I'm going to change it to... Let's say I want it to be RP. I think I'm going to use this for I'm going to use this for my header and I'm going to change the body or the descriptions part of my website into 
let's see power I think I'm going to use this one so I'm going to select it and as you can see now the fonts are changed all right so next what we're going to do is I'm actually going to set on my sections templates first so here I got my header and this is just an image banner with some text I'm going to leave it as it is now but on the second part of my page I actually just going to change a template so I'm going to delete this feature collection and I'm going to add new section and it's going to be this image with text and I'm going to create the text later on on Canva so I'm just going to leave it as it is for now all right next going to add a new section and this one is going to be a slideshow all right next I'm going to add new section and this time it's going to be I think I want it to be a multi row and I want my image to be small and this one I want it to be a solid button instead of outline button and you can also change the desktop image placement you can alternate it or you can make it all aligned at the same row I'm just going to leave it as it is for now as for the image as for the color seam I'm going to change it to seam number four to match my logo bar or my logo banner and then i'm going to leave the container color seam as just white and then last but not least i'm going to add another section and it's going to be an image banner all right so now i got all of these sections for my home page and now i'm going to go to canva and start designing my website so here I'm going to search for a website template and you can actually be more specific in order to find a template that's going to be more relatable to the website you're trying to build. So here I'm just going to add jewelry and it's going to show me some websites that I can use as my jewelry websites like this one's right here or this one. Let's take a look one by one. This one actually looks pretty interesting. So I think I'm going to use this. And for the sake of this tutorial, I have downloaded some pictures and I got those copyrighted free pictures from Unsplash. So here on Unsplash, you can actually take a look at some pictures and those are totally copyright free. You can get them for free too. And all you have to do is add your keywords here and try to search for what you're trying to look and then click on enter and download the pictures you will want to use for your design. Obviously, if it's your own shop, you're going to want to add your own pictures, but let's say that you will want to design your store first and you haven't really do any photo shoot yet i think adding up some model pictures some copyright free pictures will help you visualize your store even better so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to this template right here and start making it into my own so here i'm going to start by deleting these things because that is not the name of my shop so i'm just going to leave it as so I'm just going to delete it and now I'm also going to change these pictures but first things first I'm going to upload all of the pictures that I've already downloaded. Alright so I got my pictures uploaded. First things first I'm going to start changing the pictures into the one that I've downloaded and I'm also going to change this one. I think it has some sort of overlay and I don't really like it so I'm just going to oh apparently the transparency was played around so I'm going to make it just full and then this one I'm going to change the colors into white make it smaller obviously you're going to want to add your own slogan here but I'm going to leave it as it is and i'm also going to delete the button because i'm going to use the button from shopify 
Now I'm just going to design everything real quick and then get back to you once the design is done. Basically, I'm adding pictures and then I'm also copying some wordings into my Shopify text. And then once everything is done, I'm going to get back and show it to you. All right, so that I created all of the images that I need, I'm going to go ahead and click on share and download this as PNG and then upload it on my Shopify. All right, so all of my pictures are uploaded. Now I'm going to start and inserting them one by one. So I'm going to start by adding the first image banner. And this is how it looks like. And then I'm also going to change the image overlay opacities all the way to zero. As for the banner height, I'm just going to use it I'm just going to change it to adapt to first image. So this is what it looks like. And I also got the button from Shopify. As for the image behavior, I'm going to change it to none, I think. I'm just going to leave it as none for now. And then next, I'm going to change the pictures on my second section so this is the image with text and i'm going to use this pictures and it's going to look something like this and now i'm just going to continue and adding my pictures into the section that i've just created earlier and you can do that by repeating the same step like how i showed you with the first two pictures so this is how it looks like so far and I'm going to save it and if you would like to change all of the other pages all I have to do is go to the other page and do the same thing like how you do it on the home page just like how I shown you and then I'm just going to try and take a look at it in full screen so that we can know how the website looks like in live view. And this is how it looks like. And that's basically it. That is how you can create your own jewelry store on Shopify. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.